Hey guys, welcome back to EcoBoost. My name is Kate Arnell and thanks for stopping by. A few people have asked me what I use as my zero waste grocery shopping kit. And it's something that I think varies for everybody depending on circumstances and how easily you can go grocery shopping and whether you've got your own car or whether you have to walk everywhere like I kind of do. And it also depends on the type of shops that we've got near us. I just want to give you guys a heads up that as many of you know already, I do eat meat. <laughs> um, I was vegetarian for 13 years, it made me really ill and I found that eating meat really suits my body and actually I feel far more connected to our ecosystem and there's something that's quite sort of primitive, primal, I don't know what the word is, about eating excellent quality, traditionally farmed, biodiverse, organic meat, and I only buy it from one specific farm where I know exactly how the animals are raised, what they're fed, uh, what practices go on, and how they're slaughtered as well. So the whole journey each animal goes on, I've sort of asked questions about, read articles about. I'm currently writing a blog post to explain my own personal food philosophy, because I do get a lot of questions and comments. But at the end of the day, I think it's just really important to remember that we're all sort of different, but we're the same in that we want good things for this beautiful planet that we're on. Um, we probably just have different approaches of doing things. So I think it's just really important to remember to be kind to each other and be respectful. I just wanted to get that out there first because I will be talking about the tins and containers that I use to go to the butcher's counter or for buying cheese. So if that's something that you're not comfortable with or you disagree with, then this probably isn't the video for you. But there are loads of awesome uh, zero waste channels out there that are probably more vegan focused. I'm now going to talk you through my zero waste grocery shopping kit. Okay, let's do this. Just before I'm about to head out the door, I grab uh, a couple of these jute bags. I've also got this straw kind of basket as well, which holds a lot of stuff. I always throw in a couple of extra cloth bags, the larger ones, that mean that if I do end up buying more than I thought we were going to buy, or if there's an item which I hadn't factored in but I've been reminded of whilst I'm out and about, then I've got a couple of extra bags just in case that I can throw over my shoulder. So I'll shove those into my jute bag uh, before heading out the door. Next up, tins. So I take this one and then usually two shallower ones with me. Uh, this one and the other two are by a brand called Onyx. I found them in the Conran shop, but you can definitely get them in various places online. I'll try and link everything in the description box below. So these are really useful, not only for buying meat at the butcher's counter, but also once I've got that home, and let's say I bought a piece of stewing beef or something, I could just leave it in that tin and put it straight in the oven and let it cook. So I don't necessarily have to put it into a separate roasting dish if I'm feeling really lazy. And I do do that from time to time. So that's really good. I wouldn't put the lid in because it's got a silicone um, rim. I've started using this one for buying a whole chicken now. You might remember that I used to use a large plastic box if you've seen my How I Tried to Shop with a Less Packaging video filmed ages ago. Um, I had long hair in that one. I've now started using this. I didn't actually think a whole chicken would fit in there, but it does. Um, so I wouldn't cook a whole chicken in that because it's pretty um, snug inside, shall we say, but it definitely works as sort of a vehicle for transporting my chicken home. We also found this brand called Elephant box I think. I'll link it below because I can't remember the exact name off the top of my head but it's made in the UK and I think they're, they've got a really lovely ethos to them and I wish I could remember it right now but I can't and I somehow have lost the cardboard sleeve that had all the information on it that I was hoping to tell you guys. So instead I'll just link them in the description box below but this is a stainless steel kind of lunch box but it's also a really useful extra stainless steel tin to take with me if I want to go grocery shopping or if one of the other tins is in use then I can use this. My husband mostly uses this as a lunch box which is kind of what it's designed for I think. But I do pinch it from time to time and use it as part of my zero waste shopping kit. Small cloth bags. These are really useful and I'm rarely out of the house without at least one or two of these in either my pocket or my handbag. Um, but I always throw a couple of these into one of the larger jute bags uh, for when I'm going to go grocery shopping. I do mostly though let whichever vegetables I buy kind of just sit loose in my bag. I don't feel like I need to get have a bag for potatoes, a bag for carrots. I can't be bothered with that. I just 
throw it all in and then just give them a bit of a scrub when I get home with my little vegetable brush. But then there are slightly more delicate items like mushrooms for example where I do feel like I need a cloth bag so I'll take a few of these with me and it, these are really useful for putting in a loaf of bread for example uh, or if I know I'm going to be near somewhere that sells loose coffee beans then I'll take a sort of cloth bag with me, just a larger one and fill that up with beans. This cloth bag I actually got from Etsy um, when I first started looking for organic cloth bags. They're actually really tricky to find here in the UK, but there is a place called greenfibers.co.uk and they've started making their own organic cotton uh, little bags like these. They have them in three sizes, I'll link them below, and I already have one but it's in the wash somewhere, or it's, it's currently in use I think, uh, so I couldn't find it earlier, but it's, uh, it's great to see a UK company making and selling those bags on their site, so I was really excited about that. Then when we were on our honeymoon in California about a year and a half ago, um, we went into a shop in Carmel by the Sea, which was such a cute little place. So I found a shop that sold uh, organic cotton cloth bags, and this actually says tear weight. 0.10 ounces or 28 grams. I normally take a couple of rubber bands with me as well because if these don't do up properly at the top, maybe they might be a little bit loose. I'll just tie a rubber band around the top and it keeps it pretty secure. When I need to get some eggs, I will take an empty egg carton with me to the local farm shop and just fill that up with the loose eggs that they sell. And then when the carton comes to the end of its life, I will just compost it if it gets too raggedy to reuse. So when it comes to buying things like dry goods that aren't regular purchases, as in I don't buy them every week, but probably more like once every two months or something. For example, tea, um, I will usually take the glass jar. For someone like me who walks around a lot everywhere and doesn't really want a lot of heavy glass jars rattling around in my bags on my shoulders, <laughs> I uh, decided to just buy things like tea, etc separately, so I don't do it when I'm on a big sort of grocery shop. I kind of incorporate buying things like tea or other random items into maybe a trip up into town or if I know I'm going to be passing somewhere that sells loose leaf tea. So for example, the dry goods store sells it, there's the London Tea Exchange in Shoreditch, there's My Cup of Tea in Soho, I think they're about to open another store in Covent Garden, and they all have organic loose leaf tea options, so does the, I think it's the Algerian coffee shop, or the Algerian coffee stores. I'll link all of those below, but they all have loose leaf tea, and they're all quite small independent shops, and they've all been fine with me bringing my own jar. So. In those scenarios, I just take a jar and say, hey, would you mind weighing this first and then can we just put the tea straight inside? Um, and it's always been fine. So that's what I would do with slightly non-regular purchases um, is take my glass jar. Also, if I know I'm going to be passing by somewhere where it's likely that I might find something that I need, I will often take a, just a random glass jar just in case. So I'll put it in my handbag along with like my wallet and my phone, my diary, I'll often put in a water bottle, I'll often put in a glass jar, just because I've had several times in the past where I've thought, you know what, it would have been really useful to have had any sort of container uh, for that random purchase that I hadn't planned on making. So um, I don't always take it with me, but if I can remember and it's not too inconvenient, then I will take a little glass jar with me. If I'm buying cheese, I personally have a very sweet little cheesemongers just down the road called Paxton and Whitfield and they have a really delicious organic cheese there so it's only five minutes down the road so I'll normally just pop this sort of container into my cloth bag run down the road and just say could you just put a slice of that cheese into here please. These are also really useful for leftovers because you can kind of see what's in them. So many times I've put the leftovers in the fridge and then forgotten what's in there. Wine and olive oil and stuff like that, refill bottles are really great. I don't buy this every week but I generally now have a habit of thinking ahead as to which part of London am I going to be in today and do I need to take anything with me to buy something that I know is near where I'm going to be today. For example, if I know I'm going to be in Fulham, the Whole Foods there has a um, red wine refill. So if I can remember, I will take this bottle with me and fill it up. So it's just a little bit of thinking ahead and it's something that's actually become quite natural for me now. But it did take a lot of practice to begin with and um, I don't always get it right, but a lot of the times I'm normally prepared now. So once I've bought things in bulk, often in a cloth bag, when I get home I like to put them into a reusable jar like this so that it frees up the cloth bag. It means that I'm not having to just store them in that and run out of cloth bags very quickly. These, in case you're wondering, are organic uh, UK-grown wheat berries because I'm thinking of trying to make my own flour and I thought, well, 
why not buy some of those and then try grinding them up and seeing what happens. So um, there's always a fun experiment to be had at the Arnell household. Things like yogurt and uh, tomato passata, um, maple syrup and apple cider vinegar, all those sort of store cupboard staples. I try and buy in glass jars. I haven't got a refill option for those. And for milk, I've signed up to a milk delivery from Milk and More, and they deliver in glass bottles which are returnable, and then I can recycle the foil cap. And that's it, guys. It's kind of a very pared down, quite basic go with the flow zero waste kit, but it's what works for me, and it hasn't let me down yet. If you've got any hero products that have made your zero waste shopping experience, even more smooth, then put them in the comments. It's really interesting. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you fancy sticking around. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.